how to create a campaign with Bravo. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to do so. It's going to be a very simple process and I'm going to walk you through it entirely. Uh, so uh, before we begin, you're just going to obviously need an account for Brevo, and that's pretty much it. Uh, obviously some, uh, some contacts here as well, but uh, we can just always just get started with the free version of Brevo if you want to. We can feel free to upgrade if you need uh, as well. So anyways, once you actually sign up to Brevo and you want to log in, you should be able to find yourself in a similar dashboard. It should be the same, but depending on when you're, about, when you're actually watching this. Uh, but from this dashboard, you're going to be able to find homepage, contacts, campaigns. It's pretty much where we need to go. So just go ahead and click on campaigns. Now, once you click on campaigns, three uh, more things here should pop up. Templates, statistics, and also settings. So I'm just going to skip them right now. We don't really need to uh, talk about them for the time being. To actually create a campaign, you basically just want to click on campaigns. And then from here, you're going to basically uh, find all the different campaigns that you have created, if any. If not, you're just going to find an empty space and you are going to, to have an option to create a folder or a campaign. Folder is just basically going to be uh, pretty much just for organization purposes so you can organize everything uh, but you basically just want to start by clicking on create campaign from the top right corner or from the middle depending on where you actually see it now the second step is going to be pretty much selecting what type of campaign you want to create so you could basically go for the standard ones uh, like the email uh, campaign which most of people are going to be using anyway and then you also have the sms whatsapp and web push uh, campaigns these are going to be within the standard section and uh, for the sms and web push you will need to activate them uh, which is very simple you basically just click on activate and it's going to install the app for you as you can see app was enabled successfully but then we can also scroll down and find automated campaigns. So uh, you are going to have a pre-built templates here that you could choose from or s simply click on create a custom automation to create your very own automation. If you don't know what this is, it's pretty much just going to do things for you without having to do them manually each single time. For example, we can see th through the templates here that we have the first one is abandoned cart, uh, meaning it's going to automatically without having you to do anything except, you know, set up the actual automation, automatically send out an email for people who added stuff to their carts, but then they just abandons it and they don't uh, end up fulfilling the purchase. So it's going to automatically send them a message. Uh, more stuff here like the welcome message. So automatically send out messages for new subscribers, marketing activity, website events. All of these templates are available when it comes to automation, but you can even create your very own automation from scratch with the tar uh, with the basic uh, you know features and tools that they provide you with when it comes to creating automations more like you know the trigger and what happens next but anyways we're just going to start start with the standard one and click on email because this is the most basic one and most used one and once you click on email, for example, you're, go you're going to fill out a few things here. The first thing is going to be the campaign name. So you're just going to go ahead and give it uh, a proper name that relates to what you want to create this campaign for. So I'm just going to do uh, example campaign for the time being. I mean, I'm just going to click on create campaign. So once you actually create a campaign, it's going to create a draft for it. And you can uh, always come back to this and edit it at any point. Because, for example, if you have left for any number of reasons, you can always just go back to campaigns. And now you should be able to find it right away and always just click on it in order to edit uh, it, as you can see here. So the first thing is going to be the sender, which is going to be you. And it's going to provide the email address that you signed up with. For the first time but if you want to use a different email as a sender so more like a uh, business email instead to have you know that sort of authority you can just click on manage sender and change the email address uh, just click on add a new sender from here from within the email address drop down click on that click on add a new sender and you will need to obviously add your own uh, email or business email that you want to start sending it with so basically it's pretty much who sends 
the campaign email so when people actually view it they know uh, who sent it with the proper email okay so now that this the first part which is the sender is done next up we're going to add the recipients so these are going to be the people you want to um, you know share the campaign with so you are going to click on add recipients and in here you're going to be basically add your lists or segments of contacts and basically um, specify who you want to send this campaign to so you're just going to click on send to and select a proper list or segment depending on which one you want to go with and if you're not sure uh, which list you want you actually wanted to go with or you didn't even create a list yet or not even added your contacts yet then in this case you just want to click on contacts from the dashboard and don't worry about progress because like i said you can always just come back to that and basically um continue editing it but you can just go to contacts and from here you can feel free to create a contact or import multiple at once uh so you can just click on continue here and if you have a csv file that would be great at this point so you can actually go ahead and import that in here uh, this way you can just add your contacts and then after you actually add your contacts you just want to click on lists lists sorry and you are going to be able to create your lists and add contacts to these specific lists. So uh, lists and segments are used almost the same way, but there's a difference between them uh, when it comes to how you want to actually filter between your contacts and, you know, uh, decide or not decide, but have the difference between this uh, or this group of contacts came from this campaign and this group of contacts came from YouTube, for example, that sort of stuff. So just go ahead and make sure you add your contacts in here and create your list so you are ready to continue with the campaign. So again, just go back to the campaign and add your recipients. I don't really have any contacts in this account, uh, so I'm just going to leave this blank for the time being. I'm not going to send the campaign anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. Next up, we have the actual subject for the campaign. So you just want to click on add subject and obviously add your subject line. This is going to be appearing on the email. So this is the email subject. So go ahead and add um, whatever subject line that you want to add. I, I'm not really sure. I'm just going to do this is a test uh, subject. And you're going to see that right here on the right side. And this is a preview text, uh, which is going to show under if you want to add that as well. Uh, once you're happy with it, just make sure you click on save. Otherwise, it's not going to be used. So once you do that, this is the subject and people are going to see it as the subject of the email. Uh, lastly here, before we go to even the additional settings, is going to be creating the actual email content and you know what is actually included in the email with the design so just click on start designing once you click on start designing you're going to find uh, many different templates here that you could choose from and if you just click on any of them just click on preview if you want to see it and if you're happy with it you can just go ahead and click on use template i'm just going to use the default one this is going to send us to the brevo builder and it's going to be a very easy to use builder here as well uh, if you want to adjust anything that you uh, see on the actual screen, you basically do it by just clicking on it, which is very simple. So for example, this text, just double click on it, highlight whatever you want to change and add your own text. And on top of that, you can actually highlight whatever you want and you are going to have this toolbar on top of it where you can make the text bold, for example, italics, underline, and more st stuff here as well, like strike through and so on. But you can also add a link to specific text words or you know whatever it may be and you can make them clickable change the font and the header size and the size of the font and all these things are going to be available here for you to do if it's an image for example you basically just click on the replace icon on top of it once you hover over it and you apply uh, the image that you want you can just upload them from your computer and this is going to basically allow you to replace them it's very simple so uh, this also works with pretty much every element that you um, have. When it comes to the logo, you will need to go, go ahead and click on Setup Brand if you have not already. And you're going to need to upload your logo from there. It's going to automatically be placed in here. 
Now, if you want to, instead of, you know, actually replacing stuff that already exists, you want to actually add something. Again, it's going to be very easy. Uh, first, if you want to delete something, you just click on it and click on delete. But if you want to add something, you just want to, to go to blocks here. And within blocks, you're going to find the title, the text, the image, uh, video blocks, buttons, whatever it may be. And you basically just drag and drop them wherever you want it to be and then replace. It's very simple to use. And then we also have the style option here. Here you're going to also set up your brand colors and stuff if you want to. But then you can just go to the template itself, change the background color of the entire thing uh, if you want to. Let's just do gray here and let's not be too obnoxious with it. And then you can even change it with a background image. And again, when it comes to the style, there's plenty that you can work with how you want your buttons to appear, the spacing between elements and so on. Uh, and yeah, once you are done with designing, you can just uh, save and quit from the top right. And you should have your campaign ready. The only thing left for us to do is add recipients and we are going to be able to schedule it. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to do so because I don't have any recipients yet. Schedule to when you actually want it to send out to your recipients and you're good to go. Uh, once this is done, you can safely exit out of here and you can always track what goes on in there uh, from the campaigns tab. As you can see, we have recipients, opens, clicks, unsubscribed and so on. With that being said, this is pretty much how to create a campaign with Brevo. Hopefully you found it to be informative and helpful and thanks for watching.